Rub up your engines! Today, I'm going to show you some interesting products. You might think of them as holiday gifts for somebody, or you might want one for yourself. We're going to start out with these great running boards. The company's name is here. It's called Oedro. Now what I like best about these are, there's no drilling. They're custom made for your vehicle. They come with brackets that bolt onto the frame, and this bolts onto them. It's real simple. But as you can see, there's little plastic clips here. Okay, those are the two holes that the front bracket goes on. Pretty simple, right? It goes in there. So you hit the bracket that's labeled left front. First you just finger tight them. Like I said, there's no drilling. You just bolt the things on nice and tight. There's three of them, one, two, three. Then the side just bolts in, and you adjust it to where you want it to sit. And you just get a little socket and tighten it up. So they're nice and tight. Now the only modification I had to do was this. My son's got a blue truck, and he didn't like this being orange. So we took this off and painted it black. As you can see, it's orange underneath. He didn't like the orange, so I got it gray. Black goes a lot better with the blue. Because we got to do the other side, it's the same thing. And now we're ready for some Bonnie and Clyde action. But of course, they didn't use impact guns. Pretty snazzy running boards. And the fact that you bolt them on, no drilling, no tapping, no welding, just bolt them on. All right. That's what I like. If I'm going to get aftermarket parts like this, they're made right. Didn't take five minutes to bolt the thing on. Even the directions made sense. And that's a rarity. <laughs> the directions actually make sense right there you have it running boards you can bolt on now this next one might seem a little bit crazy but that's because this little Hemiway electric bike is for my granddaughter not for me i already have my own Hemiway bike that i love you can see it's all dirty it's charging up now but it's got front shocks it's got rear shock just like a motorcycle and look this thing's been sitting unused for three months still has 100 percent power and as you can see we got one, two, three, four, five different speeds we can drive it at. But now Hemiway started to sell little bikes for little kids. My granddaughter's small, right? She loves this thing. She was always mad because we're riding around on our electric bikes and she just had a pedal bike and there's a lot of hills in Tennessee. And she said, oh, come get me. I can't make it up now. She can go wherever she wants. And it's especially made for children. It's got some unique features. It's got nice disc brake on the back they are hydraulic disc brakes they don't use brake fluid they use mineral oil. great stopping power but they didn't put one on the front and you might wonder why if you had strong front brakes and you got a little kid who's learning how to drive you hit the front brake it can actually stop and a bike will flip over now you've certainly seen people on motorcycles do it they slam on the front brake and then they ride it up in the air like this it's called a stop instead of a wheelie on a motorcycle where you're riding on a back wheel they do a stoppy and they ride on the front wheel with the back up in the air. You don't want that happening with little kids. So it's got a great hydraulic brake in the back and the downforce is all pushing the wheel down. It won't pick it up. So it's much safer. And as we turn it on here, you just push the button. You'll soon see. This is one, the low speed, two, or three. If you put it on the mid speed, number two, we'll pick up the tire and it will go 13 miles an hour. Then if you push it on three, the high speed, it will go. Fifteen miles an hour. Now we bought our cheap versions of these things at places like Walmart or online. And they were rolling piles of junk. They just fell apart. This thing. It's solid built. I gotta say, I'm really impressed. You're not supposed to get a big guy like me on it, but I could ride it around. My legs would be all over the place. But it's got a solid frame, nice battery, it's removable, hydraulic disc brakes, and hey, it certainly rings her bell. Now, winter's coming up, you might need some heat. This Vivor diesel heater is quite interesting. Now, it uses diesel fuel, kerosene. I guess the Hawk is interested in it. Up with diesel fuel, you can see the side, show you how much you have. Use it wherever you want. You can hook it up to vehicles, of course, because it's 12 volt. Me, I'm trying out this new watt 12 volt, 2000 ampere hour, 200 amp BNS, 2560 watt hour lithium ion battery. 
this company sells them, I'm trying this one out. And in this case, I'm using it to show you how this thing works. If you hook it up to an RV, camper, whatever, you can use a 12 volt power in a vehicle. Or if you're just messing around your house, hey, you can just use a 12 volt battery, use it outside. Now, it is a diesel heater, so you have to have the heater outside. Here it's fine because it blows wherever I want to put the little nozzle, which is right here, right? It's bendable, you can put duct work in. Now, if you hook it up to an RV or something, of course, this has to be outside, and you'd hook this up to the venting system because you can't run it inside. It's burning diesel fuel. Quite well, the thing I love about it is, the Hawk really likes that one. Look, it's got digital control. You turn it on and listen. And now it's blowing warm air out of here. It works. And you don't have to worry about turning it off. You can do it automatically. You can time it. But it tells you. It's very polite. Listen to the machine. Stop heating. Thanks for using. I wish you a safe journey. So it's really set up for putting on anything you're traveling around in. Camping, whatever, an RV. You got a big truck. You need more heat. Maybe you're sleeping in it at night. You'd leave this outside and you just hook the vent up to the vehicle's intake. Man, these things have come a long way. Technology, a simple diesel heater, but digitalized, hey, pretty good idea if you ask me. Get out, it's got great instructions that actually explain everything. How to use it, how if it's overheating, it'll turn itself off, and various safety instructions. And as for this lithium ion battery, well, I just got it. This is its first test. I'm probably gonna take it to our lands and see how it holds up. Hey, wanna stay warm? Great idea. Sure, it's diesel heater technology, old technology, but modernized for ease of use and safety. Started something out now. Big biggies? No, they're complaining that they want me to heat the sty in the back here so they don't get cold this winter. Hey, even the pigs are whining now. <laughs> Our son's got his beautiful running boards put on, and you've got an idea, some interesting products out there that you might want to check out. And in that vein, if you got interesting products, hey, feel free to send them to me. Email scottykilmer at gmail.com. I love testing out products for all you viewers. See if they're good, see if they're bad, see if there's something that's worthwhile, maybe something you were thinking about, but you kept reading reviews, some were great, some were terrible. Well, guess what? I'm just telling you the truth of me as a mechanic for the last 56 years, working on cars and all kinds of machinery over what really is good and what really is terrible. And in this case, the stuff turned out to be pretty good. I'm surprised. I didn't get too many junkers this time. And here's some bonus questions and answers. Well, I'm talking about these battery electric cars, right? I just read two articles that had the exact opposite perspective. This one guy, Suvret, who writes for Inside TV, says, are sodium ion batteries dead on arrival? And Suvret pretty much said, well, you know, they have less energy, and yeah, they're a lot cheaper to make, and they don't start on fire like the lithium ion ones do, but they have less energy density, and we haven't built gigantic ones yet that will fit in a car and have enough energy to push them far enough, right? So here's one expert saying, well, these sodium ion batteries, probably it's a waste of time, right? Then I read an article <laughs> on Yahoo Finance by this uh, Susan Turek woman, and her title was, Scientists are on the brink of breakthrough in EV battery technology using sodium ion batteries. <laughs> well, Susan's writing for Yahoo News. The other guy's a scientist, so I think I'd believe Suvrek before I'd believe Susan. She's the old electric touty. No, the future will have sodium batteries. There's lots of it, right? And they don't start on fire, la, 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 la. But it's on proven. They've been trying to make it for a long time, and it doesn't work yet. It's kind of similar. There's different bits of technology, but it's kind of similar to the search for solid state batteries, right? We make a solid state battery, it's gonna be revolutionary. Well, they haven't made any yet that will work in cars. Now they got little ones like they can use in pacemakers that put out a tiny amount of electricity to beat people's hearts when they got problems, right? But when you need big giant ones to pull a car, that is a tremendous amount of electrical energy, right? And the solid state batteries they made so far, they all short themselves out, they crack, people want an electric car, 
that charges fast, right? And if you can't charge it fast, what good is it? You can get all kinds of batteries you can charge. You take a week to charge a battery, and the battery will last longer. A nice slow charge, right? Well, you going to wait a week to charge a car? No, right? <laughs> so, I just find it hilarious that the same day, I found one article that says, out of sodium ion batteries, forget them. And then a woman right for Yahoo says, oh, that's going to be the future. It's going to save us on the planet. Well, I think I believe with the scientist and not the woman who's writing for Yahoo Finance. <laughs> So if you never want to miss another one of my new car repair videos, remember to ring that bell.